Good morning, my name is Kristen Addix, and we're gonna go ahead and start about an hour long power flow. So make way to child's pose and start to connect with your breath. You can take your toes together, knees nice and wide, stretch your arms out and on the floor or stack your From there, inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Notice what happens to the back body as you inhale and fill up and release all the air out on your exhale. Just one more just like that. And then on this next one, I want you to inhale into the belly and then the ribs and then all the way to the upper chest, back body, full complete inhale, tuck chin a bit, pause, hold, open your mouth, big sigh. Again, like that, inhale to the belly, ribs, whole chest, pause, hold. Open your mouth, big exhale. And again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, hold. Open your mouth, let it all go. Slowly make way to your hands and knees. Set that up with your hands right under your shoulders, wrist creases in one line. Knees are right behind your hips. Feet are right behind, pitter-patter the tops of the feet on the mat. And then we'll inhale and arch our back, gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Again, inhale, arch and open, collarbones wide. Exhale, belly button towards your spine. Inhale, arch, open. Exhale, hollow it out, straight, strong arms. And then find tabletop, stretch your right leg back, the ball of the foot stays on the mat and you push the heel back behind you, stretching your whole foot and your Achilles. You can take this and rock it forward and back. Lift the leg up, the heel will be hip height, the toes are flexed down towards the floor. Abs engage, ribs in. Circle that foot to warm up the ankle. Go both directions. Point the leg strong back behind you, root down in the shin, reach the opposite hand forward, balance here. One more inhale and stretch. Exhale, lower the knee and hand down. Take the other leg back. Curl the toes on the mat. Push the heel back behind you, stretching your calf, Achilles, whole foot. Rocking forward and back. And then lift that leg up mindfully, keeping the heel hip height, hips level, belly in. Toes reaching downward, not fanned out to the side, and then circling the foot. Both directions to warm up the ankle. Point the toe, leg is strong, muscles pulled in towards the bone, opposite hand reaches forward. And then breathe. Use your core to stabilize. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, lower the knee and hand down. We're going to head to downward facing dog curl the toes lift the hips and then stretch it back making this inverted v shape feet are hip width apart root down with the whole hand not just the wrist fingertips and knuckle pads and as you focus on the inside of the hand firm the upper arms in wrap the triceps towards the direction you're looking spiraling the inside of the elbows towards the front of your mat you can have a soft bend in the knees if that helps you stretch the hips away from the shoulders so you have a nice long spine. In fact, everybody come up onto the tiptoes, bend your knees, push your belly towards your thighs, hips stay really high. 
And then we'll straighten the legs and release the heels. Heel toe your feet together so your toes are near each other. Lift your right leg up. Let the hips open up so the belly button is going to be facing towards the right, but your heart will still face your mat. Shoulders squared off. And then bend the knee. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, lower it down. So just a big hip opener right here. Lift the left leg up. The hips open up to the left side. The belly button faces the left. But keep weight in both hands equally. Shoulders square to your mat. And you could bend the leg in the air, making a scorpion tail. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, as you lower it down, you'll slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Feet will be hip width apart. Inhale, gaze forward towards a flat back. Exhale, fold over your legs. Release your head and neck, grab opposite elbows, rock side to side. Release your hands down, soft bend in the knees, roll up slowly, one vertebra at a time. Your head comes up last. Tadasana. Your feet should be hip width apart. If you look down, that means the heels are behind the second and third toe. Lift the toes, fan them out, place them back down. Feel the floor beneath you. Lift up through the arches, the inseam, the pelvic floor, all the way up through the crown of the head. Lift the shoulders up, move them back, and then back down. Collarbones wide from the upper arm. External rotation there, so the palms might spiral forward. Feels so like you have weight in your fingertips. So the shoulders are down away from the ears. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, fold over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, release down again. Root down with your feet, reach your arms wide, and then up, little back bend. Take it all the way down on an exhale. Inhale, flat back. And this time, we'll step the right leg back, step the left leg back, pause here. You can take this shape and rock it forward and back too. Stay forward, come down on the knees, bend the knees, collarbones wide. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the elbows, hover. Notice the elbows are not poking out, they're pulled in, and they're tracking right behind the shoulders. Place the tops of the feet down, straighten the arms and legs. Upward facing dog, use your abs, go back, downward facing dog. So four movements we do with our breath, it's called vinyasa flow. We'll do it again, you have options. Inhale, plank pose, so you can come down on your knees or not. Exhale, lower, hover all the way down. Tops of the feet on the mat, straight arms, straight legs, upward facing dog, or if you prefer, cobra. And then downward facing dog. Clear inhale. Full exhale. Inhale the right leg up. This time keep the hips level. Come forward knee to nose with a round spine. Inhale the leg back. Shoulders over wrist, lift. Inhale the leg back. This time look where you're going. Step the foot next to the thumb. Bring the back heel down 45 degree angle. Reach the arms up, warrior one. One more inhale here, exhale, hands to the heart. And then slide open to a warrior two. You can adjust the feet, widen the stance, sink down into it. This knee is right over the ankle. Don't let it rotate in, warrior two. 
Shoulders down and away from the ears. Strong leg. Flip both palms up. Slowly hinge back, inhale. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Reach forward, tailbone points back, inhale. Elbow on the knee, upper arm lifting up towards the ceiling. So there's not a lot of weight there. And then on your exhale, arm comes alongside the ear, creating one line left side of your body. Root down through the outer edge of that foot. Reach up through fingertips. You can stay here with elbow on the knee or slide the hand to the outside of the ankle up on fingertips. Try to keep the heart facing upward in the gaze upward. One more inhale here. Exhale, hand down. Heel toe this right foot off to the side as you lift the back heel. Left arm goes up for a twist. Hug your hips in, suctioning up pelvic floor. One big circle here, back down and around. And then you reach up, slowly, mindfully put the back knee down, bend the knee. So the toes are reaching upward. See if you can grab that foot. If not, hand on the sacrum. So big quad stretch. Slowly release. Bring the hand on the inside, curl the back toes, lift the knee, back heel goes down, extended side angle B, this arm reaches up. Well, I'm on my fingertips here, but if you wanna be on your elbow, that's fine. From here, you can gaze up and let this arm spiral around for a half bind or a full bind. Next inhale, spread your wings wide. Exhale, runners lunge, step back, plank pose. Vinyasa flow, exhale down. Inhale, arch. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Bring it in, knee to nose. Inhale, leg back. Come through, shoulders over wrist lift. Inhale, leg back. Knee to nose, look where you're going. Step the foot next to the thumb. Back foot down, rise up, warrior one. Strong back leg. Inhale here, exhale, hands to the heart. You're gonna slide open to your warrior two. Like to do a little shimmy with the feet, sink down into it, knee over ankle, shoulders away from the ears, shoulders over hips. Flip palms up, slow inhale, reach back. Exhale, back warrior two. Next inhale, you hinge forward and let this left hip drop. Elbow on the knee, inhale, lift. So not a lot of weight there. Upper arm alongside the ear, extended side angle A. Strong back legs, strong both legs. Palm faces down, gaze faces up, heart opens up. The same as you were on the other side if you took the hand down. One more inhale, stretch long. Exhale, lower the hand down, lift the back heel, heel toe foot off to the side, and left arm goes up. Hug the hips in, suction up pelvic floor, keep the back leg strong. Big circle here, back down and around with the arm. Find your twist again, slowly lower the knee and point the toes up. Hand on sacrum or grab the foot, big twist, big quad stretch. And then you'll slowly release it and bring the hand in on the inside, curl the toes, lift the back knee, back foot goes down, extended side angle B. And then that twist, elbow can be on the knee. And fan the arms open, inhale. Lower the hands down, exhale. Step it back, inhale. 
bend elbows, exhale. Cobra, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a nice smooth inhale. Full complete exhale. And again, just like that. Lift the right leg up. Step the foot next to the thumb. Back heel goes down. Spiral all the way up to warrior two this time. Root down in the ball of the foot, straighten this leg. We're gonna go to triangle. If you wanna pop the back foot in slightly, go ahead. Keep pressing down in the ball of the foot, engage the calf. External rotation from the top of the thigh. Reach forward, tailbone points back. That's an inhale. Lower the hand down, reach the upper arm up, gaze up. In this pose, I want you to think about filling up the top ribs with your breath. Let the arm fall back and maybe do a wrap here. Place the hand on the hip, look down, bend the front leg. Don't change the orientation of this foot. Don't rotate the toes inward, leave them where they are. Move the hand out quite a bit. Lift the back leg parallel with your mat. Reach your arms up there at six o'clock, 12 o'clock. Trying to stack shoulders and hips. Trying to lift fingertips. Bend the knee of that standing leg. See if you can gracefully go back, reverse word. Exhale, spiral hands down, step back plank. Exhale, lower. Back bend. Down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through all the way up to warrior two. And then you push into the ball of foot, straighten the leg, set up for triangle. Root down, external rotation. Reach forward as much as you can. And then lower the hand. Inhale, lift, fill up those ribs, upper ribs. Gaze up, let the hand fall back. Take it around your back. And then move the hand up to the upper hip, look down, bend the front leg, move the hand, leave the foot where it is. Back leg parallel with your mat, toes flexed, reaching out to the side, not down, not up, just out to the side. And then see if you can balance right on that one leg with shoulders and hips stacked. Not so worried about where your gaze is. And then mindfully, slowly bend that leg, step it back and reverse. Spiral it down, step it back, vinyasa flow, exhale, arch, inhale, down dog, and breathe. Inhale the right leg up, step the foot next to the thumb, Slide your back foot in. Make sure there's, your feet are hip width apart. Right foot on the right side of your mat, left foot on left side of your mat. Come to fingertips, lift up to that flat back. Exhale, release down. You're making a pyramid shape with your legs. You wanna press that right hip back. Still rooting down the ball of the front foot, calf engaged. Inhale, flat back, gaze forward, bend the front leg, lift the back leg, and we're going to a standing split. As you straighten this right leg, push the right upper thigh back, your femur back. You can wrap the right hand or maybe both around the calf, 
pull your belly in. Release it. And then you're going to walk the hands forward under the shoulders, lower the back leg, parallel with your mat, hips level. Bend the knee of the standing leg. Lift everything up. Airplane your arms. Warrior three. Hands to your heart. Left hand goes down and right arm reaches up. Trying to stack the shoulders here with this twist. Revolve half moon. You're gonna bend the knee of the standing leg. Step the back foot back, keep a twist and come up to a lunge. Back arm goes down forward, both arms go up. Right hand, grab left wrist, up and over, big stretch to the left hip flexor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower the hand down. Plank pose, vinyasa flow, the four movements you do with your breath, or you skip it and just go to down dog. Lift the left leg, step it in. Back foot pops in, pyramid shape with the legs. You're not, not on a tight rope. Left foot's on the left side, right foot's on the right. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold in, release the head and neck. Root down with the ball of the foot, calf engage. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the front leg. Lift the back leg, release your head. Neck again, standing split, pushing that left femur back in the hip socket. Take the left hand, wrap it around the shin or both. Walking the hands under shoulders, leveling off that leg parallel to the floor. You're really thinking about keeping it parallel, so spiraling the inside up with the hips level. Bend the knee of the standing leg. Lift off. Hips stay level. Shoulder blades towards each other. Triceps engage. Heart open, collarbones wide. Hands to the heart. Right hand down. Left hand lifts. It's a twist. You fall out of it. No big deal, just get back in. And then bend the knee of the standing leg, step the back foot back, keep your twist as you lift up. Back arm comes down, forward and up. Left hand grabs right wrist, lean up and over, left side. Feeling a big stretch in your right hip flexor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, step back. Exhale, lower. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, breathe. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, gaze forward. You can hop the feet outside of your hand. Try to have a straight spine, not a round spine. As you push the elbows into the knees, resist. Push the knees into the elbows. Lift your pelvic floor, lift your inner abs, lift up through the crown of the head. Release the hands down, lift the hips up, and then turn the toes in, come up onto your tiptoes. You're gonna go to crow, bend the elbows, but keep the elbows over the wrists. So as you do that, you lean forward. Might feel like you're gonna fall, you might fall. Grab some throw pillows if you want. Play around lifting one leg at a time or both. Keep squeezing the legs together into the upper arms and pushing the floor away. Your abs are engaged. 
So you can shoot the legs back for chaturanga or not. I'm just gonna lower down, find a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lower. Bend the knees a lot. Slide the hands underneath. So your toes are towards your wrists. And then release your head and neck. Lift your shoulders up, bend the elbows, pulling down. I like to wiggle my feet, wiggle my toes. Get a massage to the hands. Release the hands, heel toe the feet out to the edge of your mat. See if you can interlace the hands behind your back. The wrist can be away from the elbows, tuck chin. I mean, I'm sorry, wrists can be away from each other while fingers are interlaced. Place the hands on your hips. Slowly come up all the way from a flat back. Step your feet in a little bit so they're hip width. Inhale, reach up. Sit down like you're sitting in a small chair. Take the arms back behind you. Roll your shoulder blades towards each other. Collarbones wide, fire up your tricep. Rock weight forward to the balls of your feet. Lift your heels, but keep your knees bent. Lift your heart. Inhale, arms up while you've got your heels high. It's hard. And see so you can straighten the legs and balance there. Or take a moment to find it. Lifting pelvic floor. And now we're going to keep the heels really high and bend the knees and go all the way down. Tiptoe balance. Go back to chair, hands on the knees, circles here, both directions. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hands to the heart. Eagle pose, inhale, reach up, exhale, wrap the right arm under the left. Try to get the wrists over the elbows, or if that doesn't feel good, hands on shoulders. Sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Lift the right leg up, wrap it all the way around. Or just point the toe next to the calf. So sitting low. Lifting pelvic floor, shoulders over, hips. We're gonna release the clasp of the legs and head to variation of warrior three. Hips are level. Reaching arms back and then all the way around. Press the palms together. Stretching through the fingertips and the toes. And then come up. Inhale, reach up, exhale. Wrap the left under the right. Inhale, lift, exhale. Sit in a chair. Weight in right leg. Left leg wraps. Rock weight back over your hips, shoulders over your hips. Squeeze the pelvic floor and lift. And then slowly release, kick the leg back, keep the eagle arms, hips level for a moment, flex those back toes, reach them downward, don't let them fan to the side. Then you can point the toes, take the arms all the way around. Press palms together, cross your thumbs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward fold. Okay. Bend your knees. Peace sign finger is going to hook your big toe. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the elbows, fold in. Inhale, flat back, bend the knees. Your torso is parallel with the floor. Left hand, left hip, rock weight into the left foot. See if you can pick up your right leg. Keep the peace sign fingers around the toe. Shoulders over hips, crown of the head reaching up. Straighten the leg. Take it out to the side. Now 
bend the knee, cross the ankle over the knee. Find yourself in chair with a figure four. So you can take where we're going next, variation, you can have the hand on the knee and the foot, or you try to wrap around with the elbow creases and then lift up. Find yourself in a bit of a pigeon shape, but standing on one leg. And then try to gracefully come out of it. Hands on hips, step it back, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Peace sign fingers hook the toe. Inhale, lift through your flat back. Exhale, bend in. And then gaze forward, bend the knees. Torso parallel to your floor. Hands on hip, weight in right leg. Right hand on right hip. And then come to stand. Try to get the shoulders over the hips. Crown of the head over the sacrum. Work the leg towards straight, but it doesn't have to be straight. More important that the shoulders stay over the hips. And then it goes out. And then make way to a chair, pose on one leg, figure four, hands to the heart. And then that super hard move, maybe you're here. I know that for me, this side's really hard, but I'm gonna try to be the same. So foot and knee and elbow crease, pressing to standing. And then I'm gonna come out of it. Hands on hips, feet to the floor. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Take it back to plank and lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, plank pose all the way to the outer edge of the left foot. Side plank. Try to stack the feet and the hips. Push them out of way, lift the hips. And then lift the right leg, the upper leg. Step it back, stamp the foot on the floor. Rotate the left foot all the way down. Lift the hips up, take the right arm back behind you. Back bend, wild thing. And come back, find plank. Go to the other side. Rock the weight, outer edge of right foot, right hand. Lift up, push the mat away. Hips pressing up. Go ahead. Lift that left leg, making a little starfish shape. Then stamp the foot down, the knee is facing upward. Rotate the whole right foot down. It's like the toe is pointed. Send the hips up and reach the left arm back. From here, just sit down and then scoot back onto your mat. You can have bent knees, reach your arms forward, tuck tailbone, use abs and lower all the way down. Arms along your sides, slide your feet next to your hips. Bridge pose. Feet are parallel, hip width, knees are Hip width, tailbone points up towards your knees, lifts up, and then your head might move forward, shoulder blades come towards each other, upper arms come towards each other. I like to flip the palms up. You can interlace if you like. Root down with your feet. Energetically move the heels towards the shoulders, knees towards the back of your mat. You can stay here. Or from here, leave your body as it is and bring your hands near your ears. So fingertips facing shoulders, wrists near ears, elbows poking up. See what it feels like to push down with the arms are 
Maybe you can lift up. And tuck chin, lower all the way down. Straighten your left leg, hug your right knee in, and rock it side to side. Straighten the leg, circles there, both directions. Hug it in, send it down. And then left knee hugs in, rock side to side. And straight leg, some circles here, both directions. Hug that knee back in, and then let's hug both knees in. See if you can wrap your forearms around your shins and tuck it. And then lower the head and neck down. Take your arms wide to the edge of the mat. Tabletop your shins. Flex your feet. So keep that right angle at the knees and drop the knees to the left and keep the right shoulder on the mat. You know, drop the knees so far that they're hovering above the floor. Gaze to the right. So it's a twist, but you're very much using your core. It's very active. And then exhale, come up. Do the other side. Lower the knees towards the right. They're going to hover. Try to keep the left shoulder down and gaze to the left. Exhale, come up. Do that again with bent knees or straighten the legs and lower off to the side. Exhale, takes you back up and go both directions. Exhale. Reach your hands, reach up towards your right shin. Lower your left leg down, pull, let the leg hover above the mat, pull the nose towards the knee, pull the belly in, reach the arms towards left leg. Inhale, both up. Reach around, grab left calf, lower right leg, pull the nose towards the knee, reach both arms towards right leg. Inhale it up. Take the hands behind the head and do bicycle motion, opposite elbow to knee. Okay, that's it. Now, you might wanna watch the first time I do this. We're gonna come all the way to standing. So you can use your hands or not. So first time I'll use my hands. So we're gonna straighten the legs, shoot them up, pop the hips up, and then come all the way up. This is how you can do it with no hands. Do that a couple times, three or five. From here, we're going to do little kick ups to a handstand. Now, we don't have a wall behind us. You can move to a wall if you want one behind you. I'm just going to do little kick ups. Just lift and then try to lift your leg too. So, right legs in front, we'll do both sides. Lift. Step forward, place hands, a little pop up. Hands down, lift. All right, let's do the other side. Step the left leg forward, place the hand, press down, lift, and lift the leg. So step forward, hands down, pop up, lift. So you have to use your core here as you lift, and then flow into a little inversion, lift. 
Last one. Lift. Good. Hook your thumbs, reach up, arch back. Bend the knees, interlace the hands behind the back. Release your hands down. My feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna reach my arms around my legs and then place the palms in front of the shins. I can have bent knees to start with and then straighten. And release that. Come down, a little roly poly squat. Make way to your bum. Stretch the right leg out. Left knee off to the side. Fingertips behind the back, sit up straight and tall. Spiral the heart over the knee. Reach the left arm towards the right leg and bow down. And then take the right arm around too. Inhale, lift it up. Take the left hand behind the back. Lift up, deep pose, sit down. Switch out the legs. Fingertips behind the back, sit up straight. Spiral the heart over the leg. Reach the right arm beyond left leg if you can. Bow down and then bring both arms forward. Inhale, come up, hand behind the back, lift. And sit down. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Reach around, grab the ankles. Roll the shoulders back, reach up through the crown of the head. Try to get the shoulder blades towards each other, pressed into your back, collarbones wide, lean back. Reaching up through the crown of the head. Drop right ear to right shoulder. And then nods here. And then chin to chest over to the other side. And then chin to chest, lift up. Hands outside the knees, lift. Take the legs out to the side. You can start with bent knees, rock side to side so you're up on those sit bones. Fingertips behind the back can help you get rid of any rounding in your back, reach up through the crown of the head. And then see if you can slide your legs towards straight. Staying here is fine, especially if you're using the hands to get on the sit bones and tilt the pelvis. Super good. If you're quite flexy and you can hinge forward and tilt the whole pelvis. You want to walk the hands forward, that's fine. Inhale, come up. Walk the hands over to the right side. See if you can get a hand on either side. See if you can keep the left hip down. Gaze towards the toes. Lengthen your spine and lower. And then walk the hands all the way over to the other side. Hand on either side of the knee. Sit up straight and tall. Reach up through the crown of the head. Move your heart closer to your bow down. So you can keep that right hip down. And then slowly come up. Bring the feet together. They're about hip width apart. Hands behind your back. Sit up straight and tall. Drop the knees to the right. Walk that left hand all the way over to the right. Gaze over right shoulder, chest.
and then face center. Go all the way over to the other side. And face center. Crisscross your legs a little bit asking for your muscles to be active again. Push down with your arms, lift your hips up. See if you can lift both legs up. And then switch it out. Push down, lift, lift. Straighten your legs. One more time, push down, lift the right leg, lower. Lift the left, lower. Maybe both. Shake it out. Bring your right leg back. Set the top of the foot, that's the toenail side next to the right hip and start to walk back. Now you might just go back a little bit or you might make it all the way to the forearms. Doesn't really matter to me. We're going for a quad stretch. And I think it deepens if you bend this leg and you're keeping your chin facing the knee and that helps press this hip down, deepening that quad stretch. And then come up out of that. And swing that leg around to the other side. And walk back. So chin to chest, instead of it being a back bend, and that'll press this hip down. Maybe slide this up, deepens. And then we'll come up out of that, two legs forward again. So hands next to your hips with fingertips forward again. Lift up again. Make, this time make sure your feet are hip width apart before you lift up. Lift up, press into your heels, and then tabletop pose, trying to get the hips level with the knees and the shoulders. Slowly lower the bum down. Table tap your shins, reach your arms forward, collarbones wide. Bring your knees and feet together. Drop the knees towards the left and spiral the arms towards the right. Flatten out this shape. Come back up. All the way around to the other side. Flatten out the shape. Come back up. Find center, straighten the legs, lower and hover. Squeeze the legs, make fists with the hands, squeeze the whole arm, scrunch up your face, pull your abs in, all the muscles to the bone, all the muscles engaged. Exhale, release. Inhale, open your mouth, big sigh. Inhale, open your mouth, let it go. Again, breathe in. Open your mouth. Now keep your jaw soft and release. Relax your tongue and your throat. Relax the muscles around your mouth, both cheeks. And then eyes heavy in the eye socket. Skin on your face is wide, draped over your forehead. No tension in the brow. Feel your brain slip back. Feel all the parts of the body and the floor sinking. Organs settle. Muscles relax.
couple more breaths here in Shavasana in full total relaxation. Deepen your breath. Feel the breath. Bring in more life force. Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Circles with your feet and your wrists. Reach your arms overhead. Stretch the right side of the body longer. And stretch the left side of the body longer. Reach both. Inhale. We're just gonna roll with our whole body flat like this, like flipping a pancake right on to our bellies. Slide the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, peel left. Lengthen the heart, exhale, lower. Move the hands to the lowest ribs. Push back, child's pose. Let's see. Slowly roll up and find this nice long channel from tailbone, pointing down, crown of the head right over it. So the head is just floating right above the sacrum. Spine nice and lined up. Chakras all in one line. Inhale, take the arms out and wide. Gaze up. Exhale, chant Om, hands to the heart. Oh. The light within me honors and sees the light within you. Seal in the practice any way that feels good to you. Thank you, namaste. Have a beautiful day.